But this is a real easy thing to do and might be valuable for some of you so that you can start visualizing. We did this when we were constructing uh, noses, uh, mouths, uh, hair in the, uh, uh, the videos that I did for those things. But let's just say if you have your, uh, your light source coming from here, and it depends on how far away it is from your, your paper as to how severe the angles are going to be. So if we have a light source here, let's just see what it would hit. Well, we could, we could just take a, a copy, and just to remind ourselves, we could go ahead and draw from any point out to the, uh, well, let's just go ahead and make this one longer, too. Let's go ahead and make this one so that it's, it's going right on through the teddy bear. So we can start visualizing what's going to cast a shadow. How are our shadows going to lie? This is the same thing that you would be doing if you were uh, doing drafting. But it also can help me understand what goes around and out of my sight and where would the shadow be cast. So let's go ahead and go over here. That means that if the light is hitting uh, right in uh, the center here, and this is my highlight. It's kind of odd to say that's going to be my highlight when it's so dark. But that means that uh, if the light is hitting uh, this part of my teddy bear, it's going to be brightest here. I want to know where that apex. It's the same thing on the sphere. That's why I keep saying don't let anything go flat. Try to uh, get a little bit of value uh, on even these lighter areas so that you can have a chance to contour it and come up with that high point, that place that the light is bouncing on at the ultimate, and let these be the shadows. You know it's going to be there. It isn't probably going to be on this side we're going to throw a conflict in here if we do that. So let's go to the bottom of the foot. Then our shadows would be in here. And so suddenly we start having an idea as to what is going to be darker, even in our lighter values. We have a, let's say it's uh, the middle here is going to be uh, putting the the apex right there on the on the forehead that's the center of our value if you have the light direction like this and on the ear it's going to be right here it isn't going to be over here this is going to be the brightest spot and so everything should get darker just like it does on the sphere as I go away from this it should get darker and darker and darker and darker and darker if I want to be able to show that the uh, button has dimension to it then I want to be able to have it darker and it's raised, let's say. I want to be able to have it darker on that side than I would on this side. I want to be able to have the nose have dimension and instantly I start having an opportunity for dimension by putting the shadow in the proper place. This is the same thing. So if this uh, muzzle is going and creating a shadow on the teddy bear's face, then if I am going to add value where it's darker, then this is probably going to be even darker here because I know that light is, you know, it's going to be darker where there's less light. So if it's casting a shadow already over here, then this would be even darker and come out into the light because there's less light there. And if I have a reflective light surface, then I can do the same thing I did on my, uh, on my sphere when I did that secondary light source. I can go ahead and have that division between the major light and the lighter, I mean, you know, the uh, secondary uh, reflective light. So there would be that division. You have to have a division, otherwise I'm never going to be able to demonstrate that this is lighter over here. But I don't want this to be as bright as this. And as this goes around, it would probably be darker. This is awful, you know, just to scribble in things like this, but I wanted to show you quickly. I only want to spend a couple minutes on this here. So we have to decide what's going to be hitting and where would our highlight be. This would probably be less than it would be over here. And the center would, would go right up to that vanishing point. The center would be here. You could go ahead and make a copy of your work and make sure that you have these on the same side of each one of these spheres, each one of these contours, and we have now a, a, a consistent, instead of throwing in all these conflicts, a consistent lighting source.